At this point, you should be familiar with uh, radius, diameter, center, chords. Uh, you should be able to find the circumference of a circle. You should be able to find the area of a circle. If not, uh, go back and watch one of my first three lessons, uh, 7.1 to 7.3. This is dealing with a, a special situation where we're wondering what the radius of a diameter is when we're giving the actual circumference. So the circumference of a circle is 34.56 meters. And they want to know what is the circle's radius and what's its diameter. So since it wants to use the circumference, and we're actually given, <clears throat> so since they've given us the circumference and they want us to find the radius and the diameter, we have to start asking ourselves what formulas do we know um, that has the radius and diameter involved and the circumference. Circumference is referring to, you know, the distance around a circle. And the first thing that I know is one of the formulas for circumference is circumference equals 2 pi r. So can we plug this information into this formula? Um, a lot of times people that aren't too familiar with it, they're like, yeah, I can plug it right in here for radius because that's how we found the circumference. The circumference of a circle is 34.56 meters. Um, this is where it goes right here, C equals circumference. So let's go get a clean page um, so that we can take a look at this a little bit better. And um, let's actually draw a circle because I just like visual representations of it. Make sure my microphone's still working there. Okay, and let's just say the center is about right here. And I need to find the radius first off. And I don't know what that is. But I know if I started here and I go all the way around the circle, it's 34.56 meters. That's the circumference. And so that is what I'm going to put in the place of C in that formula for circumference. I know that the circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius of this circle. So if I could just isolate this um, R all by itself, and let's just highlight it so it shows right here, I would know what R equals. I would know the radius. Well, now we have to go back and put on our algebra um, skill set into to our thinking hats there and go, what are these three numbers doing to each other? Two is doing what's pi? It's multiplying. Okay, how can I break that bond of multiplication? You can divide. That's doing the opposite. So divide two by itself and that makes it go away. It makes it go to a positive 1, and basically it cancels it out that way. So now I can divide the other side by 2. So since I divide the right side of the equation by 2, I have to divide the left side by 2. And that gives us 17.28 equals, and I'm left with pi times the radius. And if you reason your way through, Sorry, I got interrupted there. Um, so now, if you listen to what I said, pi is times in the radius, so how can we move the pi away from the radius? We can divide it by itself. Pi divided by pi is positive 1 again. It cancels it out. Divide this side by pi, and we get a really long number on our uh, screen here, 17.28 divided by pi, and I'm using actual pi in the calculator. I'm not using 3.14. We get it like 5.50039, and it goes on and on and on. Let's just round to the nearest tenth. Um, that would make it 5.5. So our radius is approximately 5.5. And since the circumference was in meters, I know my radius is in meters. So that was the first step we needed. Um, if I could add on another radius, well, all radiuses of circles are the same. If they're in the same circle. And so now I've built myself a diameter, and I just have to add these two together. And so I know my radius is going to be 5.5, and I know my diameter is going to be 11. And don't forget your units. That's very important also. Sorry, forgot the M. I thought I'd written it, but the pad just didn't sense it there. So there's my answer. And if you're wondering, well, uh, how do I know if I'm right? 
now we have the radius. Let's plug it in and see if we get something close to 34.56. 2 times pi times 5.5 equals circumference. And if you plug in 5.5 um, as the radius and then multiply those all together, you won't get exactly 34.56. actually got 34.5575. And the reason that it's slightly off is that, remember, we had to round here. Um, because I rounded it, it made my circumference be a little bit different, but you can tell we're really close. Um, and so our rounding or our estimate is good. And as a result, uh, we've got the right answer. Let's try this one more time. Let's say that we have our circumference of a circle that's 7 miles. So again, ask yourself, is it the radius? No. Is it the diameter? No. Again, it's the circumference. How far around is it? If you walked around the circle in real life, it would take you actually seven miles to walk all the way around it. So now uh, we can actually just go through and say, well, let's, let's just do a little mock-up here and let's put in a, a fake radius that we don't know what it is. And we're just going to call it R for radius. Um, we want to know what is this radius and we want to know what is a diameter of this. So let's just draw a, a blue one through. Um, there we go. And you can see they're both going through the center. Now, um, we know that the formula is circumference equals 2 pi r. And at this point, we go, hmm, my circumference is 7 miles, so that's going to replace the c. How can I get the 2 and the pi away from the radius? They're multiplying each other. So um, let's just divide and then divide this side by 2. And we get 3.5 equals pi times radius. The pi is times the radius, so we can divide it. And then we can do the same to the other side. And 3.5 divided by pi, I get 10.995. So uh, the radius shows like this in your calculator. I'll go ahead and put in a few other decimal points just so you can see how far out it goes. And I go, you know what, that's kind of ridiculous. Just let's round to the nearest tenth. Um, this nine is going to make this nine go up to ten. So that makes that decimal place a zero and we carry the one over. One plus zero is one and we bring down another one. So basically when we round it to the nearest tenth, ten point nine rounds up to eleven. Our radius is 11, which means that this radius is 11, and this radius is 11. And you can see that this blue diameter is made up of two radiuses. 11 plus 11 is 22. Take a moment and look at my screen and think about a few things um, that need to be changed to be perfect. One thing that I want to mention is um, this is still rounding for the most part. Um, my calculator doesn't know the full number of pi. And so when I go ahead and I round to the nearest tenth, um, we use the approximation symbol in here. Just so that way it tells everybody, hey, we rounded. And then there's one other issue that, that I'm not going to say is minor. If it's a 7-mile circumference around the circle, it means I have an 11-mile radius. And I have a 22-mile diameter. Okay, so the diameter is 22 miles long. I, I just wanted to point that out and make sure that you're always labeling your answer. Um, once you have your formula, you plug in your given information, and then you figure out what part of your equation do you need to isolate? In this case, it's R, the radius. And uh, we do that by saying, well, 2 is multiplying pi, so we can divide it by 2 and do the same to the side. And then pi is left over here multiplying the radius. Well, we need the pi to go away, so since it's multiplying the radius, we divide by pi and then divide the other side by pi, and that's where this magic number came from before we rounded. And then we just used our diagram, um, putting in the information that we, we know, um, to get us the rest of the answers.